massively unlikely you need to worry about where the flag is and which side of the fairway you want to hit. Just got to get your driver in play if you are hitting driver down this hole, which, you know, short par four, if it's safe to do so, you might as well get it as close as possible rather than worrying about which side of the fairway you're going to hit. If you do slice the ball, hook the ball, draw the ball, whatever, play to that pattern of shots. Aim accordingly so you can find anywhere safe. But for this short par four, just got to get it down there. So I just try to hit it annoyingly. Some youngsters knocked it even further past me, but there's no way you try to get it through that little gap. He was just almost just going for the green, find the ball, chip on, got a birdie pass. That was the plan there. Now, if you're trying to hit the ball a long way and you struggle and you maybe slice it, or you hit it a bit low, or you pop it up in the air, or it's healy, um, good chance that you're gonna, like this player here, go top of your swing and spin too early. So your chest gets ahead of your pelvis. So if I go here, regardless of what I've done my back swing, let's say, let's call it just brilliant. Chest goes that way, ahead of my pelvis, or even being level, ball's a long way forward because it's a driver. The club path moves left. You lose a bit of speed. You might hit down on the ball as well, which will just lose your distance. So what we're looking to do with driver in particular is from here, have more separation between your pelvis and your chest. Now, that doesn't mean do this in the setup, okay? Because if I put the ball, let's say middle of my stance and held it like that with my hands together, my shoulders would be level. Because my right hand goes lower, right shoulder goes lower, ball goes forward, right shoulder goes lower. We don't need to start like this. It's not going to affect your turn on the backswing. So unless you're one of these guys, then maybe get back this way a little bit, but it should be fairly neutral in the setup. Irons and drivers, you'll see when players rotate on the backswing for both clubs, this will be somewhat similar. They'll be quite stacked, so chest and pelvis over each other or in line with each other on the backswing. We don't need to turn like this for a driver. The difference is it impacts with an iron. I look to get forward, small separation or small sway gap. You'll see the number there on um, sports box. I can hit down the ball, but for a driver, quite stacked here, bigger gap between my pelvis and my chest, particularly if you're trying to draw the ball, particularly if you're trying to hit up on the ball. So from this setup here, not a lot will change in the backswing. That's me getting my chest ahead of the ball, so let's see what happens. Heeled low, basically tops. Might have overdone that one a little bit, but you'll get slices all sorts from there. So chest and pelvis pretty much level the impact, or even chest ahead of my pelvis and impact. If I go the other way, nothing changes there too much. If I keep my chest further back, that's that higher draw. So film yourself face on with the driver. We need more separation with your pelvis and chest at impact in the downswing, not on the way back.